Welcome to my channel, or Peter's channel. I thought I'd organise a um, uh, demonstration video of what Peter, how I feed Peter. Um, bear in mind that <coughs> Peter I've had for three years uh, since a little five eight old bird and it was hand fed and he's been hand raised. He's turned to be a trivial little character, um, full of um, energy, um, he's happy as, and um, he bonds really closely with me, or has bonded really closely with me. With me. Um, and he's, I mean, as a bird, I'm, he's been outstanding as a character. Um, they have their moments, like all parrots do, um, but all said and done, he, um, I'm impressed with him. However, <coughs> he's fed three things. A dry mix, a wet mix, and vegetables. Um, or chopped up broccoli um, and a slice of apple every day. <coughs> um, the reason why he gets two mixes, the dry mix and the wet mix, the wet mix I use as a means of giving him um, medication, which is, hasn't happened yet in three years, um, but he does have his medication once a month for worming and he gets put in with his wet mix, so it's concealed. The reason why I do that um, with my other birds, or my other bird in particular, which is a green sheet conya called Titan. Uh, he's a pedantic little creature. He is, has a fairly willful mind. Um, I swear he suffers bipolar. But if I put worming mixture in the water, guaranteed he won't touch it. If I put it in with some juice, <coughs> no other story. He just drinks the juice, totally oblivious. It's a bit like feeding kiddies or kids with medication, put it in fruit, they'll eat the fruit, give it to them straight, and then you have anarchy. So anyway, getting started um, with Peter every morning, and as with all my birds, um, we have a routine. We get the cage cleaned out. I take the um, uh, troughs out, but before I do, I make up a new batch of dry mix and chopped broccoli um, florets and a wet mix. Now, <clears throat> and also a slice of apple, which is about a quarter of an apple. Uh, and if he goes through that half, through the half day, that's fine, I'll go to another one, I'll change it. But there's no point over feeding him uh, or giving him stuff that's going to rot because it's going to attract flies, it's going to attract ants and other bugs that you don't want in your house. So, um, with that, oh, also too, with the broccoli, um, him and plus two other birds, they go through about a kilo a week. So I estimate that uh, Peter would eat about three to four hundred grams a week. A um, little bit gets tossed out in the morning, but not much. Um, and uh, so with a wet mix or the dry mix, which I make up first, so which I use this stuff. I have tried other stuff, but you know, I hear what you're going to say. Um, but before you say it, I've tried them all, and this is the one that Peter likes. It works, he's healthy, he's fit, heaps of energy, his colours are really, really terrific, um, and his demeanour is great. And so why muck with something that works? So, and because um, with um, uh, this Pascal mob, and which only cost you about $15, $16 in most places, um, and which will last him eh, about a month. So I just get one scoop, put it in there, so he gets the one scoop. Now, to, this is how I make up his wet mix. Normally, as I said before, I take the wet mix, the, sorry, the dry mix I made yesterday, um, and I bring that out. Instead of throwing the dry mix away that he has it at, I then turn that into a wet mix. And that's pretty simply done by doing this. Um, just to um, pretend that this is the dry mix that I gave him yesterday, um, which he hasn't at. Um, if he's throwing his toys or anything in it like that, he, that's all right. You just take them out. Any pieces of crap that gets in there, won't matter, just take it out. And, um, all right, <coughs> so setting that aside, um, 
as you can see, it's Pascal's. He loves it. Good stuff. Um, readily available. And as I said before, um, I mix um, some uh, pureed apple. Now, it, it just makes, this just simplifies everything. You go to all these or Coles, you can buy the pureed apple, pureed strawberries, pureed pears, all sorts. He loves his pears, he loves his apples. Um, he's not real keen on the um, uh, combination apples and strawberries, but he loves his, um, his pureed apple, he loves his pureed pear, um, and if you can't get pureed pear, it's easy enough to do your own. So that just gets mixed in there like that. And now, the important thing here is when you uh, um, make it up, um, it's got to be about a, like a consistency of a, of, of a honey um, or thereabouts. Um, so what I'll do is just add a bit of water. <coughs> Put that on one side. Um, you mix it up and it goes a bit like... It's like mixing up, and it smells almost like cupcake stuff. <coughs> so it goes, mixes in pretty well with water. The um, um, pureed apple that I use, so that's only two bucks for four tubs uh, per packet um, in in coals. So as you can see, it's just a, a nice consistency. Now. Here in Queensland, in North Queensland where we are, um, got to be a bit careful because if I make it too uh, too dry or not wet enough, <coughs> as the dye, day progresses, the wet mix tends to dry out and then he doesn't need it. So I only make sure it's a little bit more wetter. Um, so it's a bit like honey, but a bit like runny honey. Um, and as the day progresses, um, and of course now it is like this. It's just like a, so he loves it and that'll last him um, all day and it'll take him through the night, although he sleeps all through the night. He's a, a very good bird. Um, takes himself to bed. Anyway, in the morning, um, he'll have some of that when he first wakes up and he'll wait um, after that for his fresh batch. So then I make up his, as I said before, make his dry mix up, give him up some new chopped up broccoli um, uh, florets, followed by a wet mix made out of his yesterday's dry mix. Provided it's not too badly tainted with crap that he's dropped in it. Um, usually it's pretty good, but every now and then, because uh, he so, throws things around his cage and ends up in there. Um, <coughs> also, too, and I've got to stress this, and, and I will in future video, videos too, is it is important, particularly from an Arrow point of view, that you keep the cage clean. And in doing so, what I do is um, around about 11 o'clock, thereabouts, each day, I take the cage outside, and he's still in it, hope he's, um, uh, uh, how would you say, bathtub bowl? Um, and the hose, and he has a bath. But I also um, hose out the cage or hose the runs off to make sure that there's no crap left behind. The stand which the cage stands on is also wiped down with um, antiseptic wipes. It is important from a Rory Peach point of view that you keep his food and his house and all that sort of stuff clean as a whistle. Otherwise, they get because. A lot of kids, for some reason, I'm, I'm being told that they are uh, susceptible to viruses and diseases, etc. So if you keep the cage clean, you keep the vet, vet away. And he becomes a happy little boy, and then you can focus on playing and all the other crap that you normally do with your bird. So, just to recap, <coughs> dry mix, fresh every day. Wet mix, made from his yesterday's dry mix. And that's fresh with new water and new pureed, um, uh, uh, well, you can do pureed, pureed vegetables if you want, or um, uh, pureed fruit, I prefer, because then he gets his fruit. Um, and the 
chopped uh, broccoli floret and also a slither or a quarter of an apple and that's it it's pretty simple <coughs> in addition to that we do give them extra stuff um, the um, and like I said before um, he loves his um, uh, cooked rice um, so he gets a little bit of that sometimes he gets chopped up uh, or diced and um, mashed uh, sweet potato um, pumpkin smashed he don't like that too and um, various other types of vegetables um, and um, uh, uh, fruits doesn't like um, uh, unfortunately he doesn't like uh, kiwi fruit and he doesn't like um, uh, passion fruit <coughs> but that's right he gets all the other things that he loves um, and uh, that's the main thing to keep him healthy fit and white and playful and without a doubt he does love his play um, and sometimes I feel guilty that he's not out of the cage enough um, but life is what it is um, I do recommend um, that you use uh, Passwell it's good stuff um, and you can't go wrong um, and they give you a, a nice little dispenser to help you measure it and it comes in a plastic bag and I seal it with a, um, a tie like that or you can use a, a Ziploc bag um, pureed apple pureed, pureed uh, fruit from Woolies, Coles or whatever comes in little tubs <clears throat> and uh, yep and it's clean as, cage is cleaned he's happy, I'm happy he comes out for 20 minutes of breakfast time after I've cleaned his cage uh, and then he goes back in until later on in the day when we have our playtime <coughs> and I've got clips there as you probably noticed from his playtime and he's a pretty energetic, energetic little bugger um, and I certainly haven't looked back since he came to live with me I was a bit concerned at first because I didn't know anything about Rainbow Warrior Kick heard a lot of stories um, but they are exuberant little guys and uh, energy this has boundless resources um, he's not a lovey-dovey type bird he doesn't well very rarely smooches up um, but he's happy to sit on my shoulder happy to sit beside me never bit me on the lip touch wood um, every now and then we we get a, a nip that's all right that's parrots you live with it um, but anyway bear that in mind very simple dry mix Vegetable chopped. I don't go into this big chop stuff because I don't see the point. Um, and a wet mix covers a multitude of sins, including giving them medication. Um, and then a slither apple. Um, and you can't go wrong. Really can't. And my little guy, um, although he's not as big as most of our other Laura Keats, but he weighs in 148 grams. He's maintained that weight for the last four months and he's never been sick um, so yep um, bear that in mind it's my opinion you do what what you do you learn um, by doing it this is just the basics the basics has worked for me um, he's happy I'm happy um, and you can <coughs> yeah, you can do a glorified diet if you want there's no point um, your time with your bird is important and if you're going to pour time into baking up all these exotic dishes of um, chomp as they call it fine do it but you're negating your time with your bird and uh, don't forget you've also got to deal with life too and have lots of things that infiltrates your life that gets in the road with your normal um, day to day life with your bird and another thing that's important I must mention that you must be consistent in what you do and how you do it and being regular with everything works wonders. They know where they're at, they know where you're at, and so do you. And that's important. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, before you leave or finish up, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I will put in, in the bottom my email address uh, for us. Any comments, wishes, or whatever, don't hesitate. Send me an email. If I can comply, I will. I certainly will thank you for um, sending me the email. Um, but like I said, don't forget, 
message me with anything you wish to say, hit the subscribe button and hit the, a, uh, the like button and keep, po keep yourself posted to uh, the website because there will be more um, uh, videos coming. Okay, next one I'm thinking I'm going to deal with uh, uh, things that you may not know about lorry kits or would like to know. But I'll just demonstrate to you or to explain to you things that I found out, things that work for me, and yet we can go from there. All right? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, subscribe. <laughs> What the punch? What the punch? What the punch? What the punch? What the punch?